everyone, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do March readings for all Zodiac signs. Now keep in mind that they are random readings, so take what applies, if it applies, and you know to do the rest. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, and shared, and put me up in over 15,000 subscribers. You guys rock! Thank you so much. And if anyone is interested in a personal reading with me, all that info is in the box below. Also, a quick shout for Epps Marsh. He is a fantastic author of a book of poems that's going to be on Amazon March 1st. And the free download uh, website is in the box below as well. He is also taking a poem for every zodiac sign. So, Sagittarius. The poem that he has given you is How Time Flies. Let's see if that applies here. Sad. Let's see what's shaking in March for you. Hold on, Sag. Gonna get a little rocky. Let's get into it. Bottom of the deck. Sag, you have the Empress. And the Empress is usually depicted as a Taurus or a Libra. But she's queen of all queens. She has the zodiac sign behind her. She's a little bit of everything. She's nurturing. She's kind. She's the successful business person. She's methodical. She's practical. You know, she's analytical. But most of all, she's successful. So, Sag, let's see how that pertains here. We're going to start off with the Queen of Swords. Now, Sag, this is the uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or somebody who takes on these properties. This is somebody who does not put up with BS. She means what she says. She's pretty direct and forward. Do not come at her with BS. She will cut you to pieces. She can see it coming a mile away. This is somebody who does not take her own feelings into consideration. Sag, she's not going to take yours in. And what's crossing to help or hinder? You have the Eight of Swords. Now, this is a self-imposed mind prison, Sag. You put yourself here. This is... Negative thoughts. This could be imprisonment. I don't know what made me just say that. Okay. For some, not for all. Hmm. So, Sag, either you are very conflicted about an air-like person. King, queen, it doesn't matter. It's an energy. And for some reason, this person's got you wrapped up in your head. Or possibly imprisonment. Keeps ringing in my head. Okay? For some... Not for all. Now, what's in your foundation, Sag? You've got the Queen of Pentacles. Now, here's your sign of Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or somebody who takes on these properties. This is somebody who is methodical, practical, down to earth, a realist. They see things for how it really is. They don't sugarcoat anything. And this being the root of your reading here, Sag, Maybe this is the properties that you need to take on as being methodical and not sugarcoating anything. Especially if you're trying to sugarcoat a queen of swords like person. Sag, they see it coming a mile away. Now, what's crowning your whole reading is a great card. You have the Ace of Cups, the Holy Grail of Love. 
This is the universe giving you an opportunity to see if you take it or not. Whether that is love for a person. Love for what you do. Love for yourself. Sag, put it where it applies. Sag, I almost get the feeling that you need to take on these properties. If this is not a person that you're dealing with, okay, of being analytical and putting your emotions in the back seat before it gets you caught up. Because in your recent past, Sag, you've got the Six of Wands. Now, here is victory. Okay, overcoming a battle and being victorious. Coming back from battle and being victorious. But this is being recognized, getting recognition. And again, I have two scenarios going on here. Okay. Sag, maybe in the past you were recognized from coming back from a battle. You know, all eyes on you. But being recognized sometimes is not the best plan. That's for some. The other note is that maybe you've had success. You know, with a arrow-like person, or perhaps even a earth-like person. This made you feel like you were on top. And going into your future, Sag, you're in your element. King of Wands, as well as Leo and Aries. Okay? This is being passionate. You know, creative, you know, endeavor or your creative part, you know, being inspired, motivated, go get it done. Kasaj, I feel like you feel like you have something in the bag. Sag, maybe you put your trust into something or someone. Maybe you thought you were starting something new. Now, notice the moons that are in the cycle. You know, moons are about cycles here. Sag, maybe you found new love. But something's got you in your head about it. It's almost like there is a hidden element here, Sag. Maybe you're in your emotions when you need to get out of your emotions. Because that's something you're not seeing. Now how people see you in your environment. Woof. You get the tower. Now, the tower is something that comes so hard, so fast. It's like being T-boned. You never see this one coming. And sad. If you think you know where this tower is going to hit you, it wouldn't be the tower. It blindsides you. Now, people are seeing you like this. They're seeing you as... Perhaps being unpredictable, explosive. But the tower was built on faulty foundation. Okay? The universe comes in. A lot of times, Sag, we keep ourselves in situations that are no good for us, but they've become comfortable. We've just accepted it. And that's when the universe comes in and says, Not today. It blows it apart.
Sag, if people are looking at you like this and you're explosive stuff, maybe you are self-sabotaging. Okay, Sag. If you are dealing with an air-like person, tread lightly. Do not come with them with anything sugar-coated. Be real, Sag, and honest. Because they are of the analytical sort, okay? Whatever you're going to say, be straightforward and be honest. Because what you're going to receive back might blow your mind. And it might make you feel like you're coming unhinged. Unhinged. Okay. In your environment, Sag, you have the four of swords. Now this is taking a step back, Sag. Take that breath. Reprioritize and re-strategize. Make a plan. Make a plan B. I think you're going to need it. And that's, you know, in your creativity and in your element here, Sag. Okay? Stay one step ahead. Please. I always feel like this is entrapment. Why does that ring in my head? Regardless of every any other situation, whether you're dealing with an air-like person and you're trying to be grounded and methodical and practical with this person, whether you think you have this new love, you know what I mean, or a brand new beginning that you're feeling victorious about. Sag, stay one step ahead. Make that plan. Because in your hopes and in your fears, you're hoping that you have options. That you have choices. And I just get that strong feeling that when, when this gets out of control, that you're going to be looking for some other option or some other choice. Sag, you might be, you know, hoping that you that you did you didn't make a choice that you you chose something else. But I, at this point, Sag, I feel like it's too little, too late. Sag, rather than being that fiery, charismatic self, bring it down a notch. Get grounded. Get practical. And make a plan. And think something through. It's almost like take the rose-colored glasses off and see everything for how it really is. Sag, be on top of this. Right under this, I have the temperance card. Balance. Sag, this is your card. She's halfway in water and halfway out of water. Okay, because her head and her heart are on the same page. She's balanced emotionally and mentally. Sag, mentally, and grounding out your emotions. Because either you are going to fly off the handle about something. And you're going to be wishing later on that you made a different choice. Because your outcome card here, Sag, is the King of Swords. Now, these two reign around together. 
They're both, you know, analytical, extremely intelligent. But they both put their emotions in the back seat. Okay? They come at each other with facts, figures, the truth. Sag. So keep those emotions under control. Don't come unhinged. Okay? No matter what's coming towards your towards you. Okay? Whether this was an illusion or this eluded you somewhere. Be smart. Be practical. On the other side of the coin, this could be a CEO, a lawyer, somebody who has stature, you know, in the judicial system, somehow, some way. I'm getting this strong feeling when I see these two together, Sag. Don't land up here because of choices you're going to regret later. Be clear-minded. Wow. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel. And don't forget about Epps March, March 1st, the uh, poetry. The link is going to be in the box below. So everyone, take care.